time for healing. The Fountain Valley community came together this weekend to say goodbye to Gannon Stouck. The 11 year old boy reported missing weeks ago. He's now presumed dead as his stepmother is in custody facing charges for his murder. News 5's Colette Bordelon joins us in studio now with a look at how the community honored Gannon's memory today. Colette? It all started with church services this morning to a memorial ride this afternoon. And Southern Colorado was filled with the color blue today, all for one young boy. Meanwhile, Gannon's dad tells me he's blown away by the support he saw today. Raise a hallelujah. The whole community's had a great loss. In the presence of my light in the midst of the darkness, that hope in the midst of despair. It's not about the words. And I don't think he'll ever be alone. But about the meaning. When you don't know what to do, I think you go to the basics in God, in family, um, loving those that are close to you. Surrounding the Stouks in love. Through the thick and through the thin and through the ups and downs, we're in this for the long haul. In honor of Gannon. Terrible, terrible tragedy. The kid didn't deserve that. Nothing, no kid deserves that. After church, around 400 cars hitting the road with his memory in mind. This is for Gannon. We're just glad to do this for the family. Showing support for the family with Gannon's dad and sister even leading the way. Anytime that I've seen his picture shared, anytime that I've shared it, anytime I've watched any of the videos, all I do is cry. It's I can't imagine what the family's going through or how bad this hurts them. While also raising money. We're taking all the proceeds and we're going to give it directly to uh, the father at the end of the procession down there at the memorial. When everyone made it to Lorson Ranch. It's sad being a mother. April Sanchez and her family. Where's the tissue at? You have it too? Holding their kids close. It's heartwarming and sad at the same time. In honor of the boy who brought them all together. Now Andy Gannon's dad tells me he is happy he made the decision to come out today and honestly while I was driving in that memorial behind those hundreds of cars I got chills. It was just so intense. Why do you say that? Well so all the cars were decked out in blue right? Mm -hmm. And you could see remnants of those blue decorations on the road as you were driving yeah. and balloons floating in the air and it just really showed the magnitude that Gannon his impact has had on our community. Oh, great story. Thanks so much Colette. Of course.